That cosmic ballet we've been talking about goes on and while here in Houston we won't be able to witness the full annular eclipse tomorrow. It's still going to be quite a show. So joining me now is Dr. Carolyn Summers. She's the vice president of astronomy and physics with the Houston Museum of Natural Science. So thank you for coming in. I know you've brought props before we get to this all of these science cool equipment, science equipment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know before we get to all these cool things. What is an annular eclipse? I mean, why are we only seeing it every they said if we miss it tomorrow, we don't get to see it again for another 23 years. Just about and that's just for the annular. Okay. Basically, it's a total eclipse, except the moon's not big enough. Okay. When the moon is too far away from us in its orbit, so we're uh -huh. quite round, it it don't co it will not cover the sun, so it gives you a ring. The Johnny Cash ring of see. fire. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that is and, very cool. Yeah. And but it's different. You but you have to keep your glasses on. Why? It can damage your eyes. Yeah, well, looking directly you know, at normally it. Normally you walk outside. Hey, I look at the sun all the time. No, yeah. you really don't. You don't stare at it. Uh huh. But here you are. You walk. It's like I want to see the moon, and you stare at the sun, and that like one little part of the sunlight that's still there is really burning a hole in your retina. Oh wow. Because you're staring at it. It's not moving across your retina. You're uh -huh. staring at it. So it's important to have you know other ways like a cereal box. A solar viewer, you punch holes here, put a piece uh -huh. of paper down there, and you look inside there, and you'll have like little dots. The same right. thing you want to I say. remember making these in school. Yeah, we're going to um, make them there, or you can have the tube version. Okay. Which is. So, all different ways that you can do it at the Museum of Natural Science. A colander, like what are we doing with this? Look at the holes. Okay, and every even single, that will protect your every, eyes. No, 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 this is different. Every single hole is going to make an eclipse on the ground. Oh, it's called pinhole projection. Uh huh. We even you can also take toys and see if they still work. Mm -hmm. If you have binoculars, uh -huh. put a put a filter on them, and we give people these filters tomorrow to make their own. Okay. And then you're safe. Or even this was our we just finished making okay. this creation at the museum. Uh -huh. You'll have to come walk under it. We have a pinhole pergola. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so if you hold that up, you're so looking at the you'll just, you'll, just have, you'll just have little eclipses. All over the ground, like the little ring of fires. Yep, yep. But you'll have you won't have quite a circle, uh -huh. but you'll have 84 percent of the sun covered, and then of course, that's the <laughs> ultimate. <laughs> to so see it through there. If you get the right hat, uh -huh. it will actually put pinholes all over your face. Oh, very little cool. Eclipses everywhere. So I love this because these are all things. And Caroline Brown also showed us. Haley showed us where you can get glasses to make sure that they're you know will protect your yeah, eyes. Yeah, we have them at the museum. Where they can buy them in the gift shop. And we're but they give can away cards. Go tomorrow and do these activities as part of like making sundials, you said, as yeah. part of the whole solar. And we're gonna eclipse. make a little jewelry that will change color in the sunlight. We're, we're planning on having a lot and we're cooking. Oh. What with do you sunlight. mean by that? Cooking with sunlight. We'll see if it cooks. That doesn't cook. It may not cook as well during an annular eclipse. Right. What are you making? Sunlight. Like eggs, cookies on the no, sidewalk? We're making <laughs> pot stickers, uh -huh. uh, brownies. And nachos. So a lot of fun. <laughs> what time? I mean, we know that the best time, Caroline has said, the peak time is 11:58. But but if you're checking in, if we're going to take our families to the Houston Museum of Natural Science, what time should we go tomorrow? To we're going to we're going to start out at 10, but the activities really don't start till about 10:27 or 10:30. Or uh huh. We're also doing planetarium shows free. Many shows showing you why the eclipse is happening, oh. what to look for every 15 minutes until noon. Okay, that is all very cool. So should we go online and buy our tickets in advance or you just show up and buy them? If there's no tickets, we're, the, we're in the front yard. All of that is free. <laughs> oh my gosh, I yes. left out the most important part. So it's free at the Museum of Natural Science right. tomorrow. Go out, enjoy it. You can make these little things. I just talked to our web department. They're putting Caroline's uh, demonstration on how to make it out of a shoebox online, but you could find those. This is a little better because it's longer. Okay. And you're more likely to have a ton of these at your house. It's a, I've got a ton of kids. those empty cereal yeah. boxes, <laughs> all the sugary ones. Yes. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Carolyn thank Summers. You. Thanks for coming in, and we hope that you get a chance to see that eclipse tomorrow safely, Haley.